So we show this layer part of the elemental part of the beam in this diagram where your length is delta x and your width is p as shown in the figure. Now the shear stress at point p is equal to the complementary shear stress tau dash which is acting at the bottom surface of this elemental part of the beam the surface denoted by pqrs as shown in the figure. Now let us consider a small elemental area da which is at the same vertical distance y from the neutral axis of this whole cross section. The corresponding area on this view is shown in the figure. Now let sigma be the longitudinal stress on this small elemental area on this surface whereas on the corresponding opposite surface the longitudinal stress be sigma plus d sigma where d sigma is a variation of longitudinal stress. So if you want to calculate the force on this small elemental area so on this cross section your longitudinal force on this small elemental area will be sigma into da whereas the corresponding longitudinal force on the same elemental area on the opposite surface will be sigma plus d sigma into da. So now for equilibrium of the shaded part of cross section above the layer we have the equation the total shear force at the bottom surface which will be given as shear force at the bottom surface is equal to the longitudinal force on adjacent transfer surfaces. So mathematically we can write it as shear force at the bottom surface will be given as tau dash which is complementary shear stress multiplied by the area which is b into delta x and this is equal to the algebraic sum of longitudinal force on this two transverse cross sections on this two transverse cross sections will be integral of sigma plus d sigma into da minus of sigma into da. Now one important point to be noted here is since our elemental area is above the neutral axis this elemental area will be subjected to compression under sagging moment. So the direction of the forces shown is according to the sign convention for compression force. So upon solving this we get so we get tau dash into d into delta x is equal to integral of d sigma into da. Now we know longitudinal stress or bending stress at any layer y from the neutral axis is given as sigma is equal to m by i into y where m is the bending moment i is the moment of inertia of the whole cross section and y is the distance of that layer from the neutral axis. So we can write sigma plus d sigma is equal to m plus delta m upon i into y. So we can write d sigma is equal to delta m upon i multiplied by y. Now upon substituting the value of d sigma in this equation we get tau dash into b into delta x is equal to integral of delta m by i into y multiplied by da where this part is your d sigma. Now since we see that the total shear force at the bottom surface is being balanced by the total longitudinal force on these two transverse cross sections. So we have to integrate it from the limit y to d by 2 where d is the depth of the cross section. So we have tau dash into b into delta x is equal to delta m by i into integral of y to d by 2 y da. Upon taking this term b into delta x on the right hand side we have tau dash is equal to delta m upon i into b into delta x into integral from the limit y to d by 2 y da. So this can be written as delta m by delta x into 1 upon i by b. Now if you see the integral of y da from the limit y to d by 2 is actually the first moment of this shaded area from the neutral axis. So we can write this first moment of the shaded area as a into y bar where y bar is the distance of centered of this shaded area from the neutral axis. Now if we see your delta m by delta x is nothing but the shear force acting on the beam at that section. This is the relation in which we have studied in the chapter shear force and bending moment. So upon replacing this term by the shear force f we get your tau dash is equal to f into a y bar upon i b. Now since we know the complementary shear stress tau dash is same as that of vertical shear stress on the transfer section we simply write the shear stress tau is equal to 
एफ इंटू ए वाई बार अपॉन आई बी सो दिस इज अ फॉर्मूला फॉर द शेयर स्ट्रेस एक्टिंग एट एनी पॉइंट ऑन द बीम वेर योर एफ इज द शेयर फोर्स एट अ क्रॉस एक्शन इन न्यूटन आई इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ होल क्रॉस एक्शन अबाउट द न्यूट्रल एक्सेस बी इज द एक्चुअल विर्थ ऑफ सेक्शन एट द लेयर कंसिडर्ड ए वाई बार इज द फर्स्ट मोमेंट ऑफ एरिया ऑफ सेक्शन अबाउट द लेयर कंसिडर्ड एंड अबाउट द न्यूट्रल एक्सेस एंड फाइनली योर टाउ इज द शेयर स्ट्रेस एट दैट लेयर ना दिस शेयर स्ट्रेस कुड बी योर वर्टिकल और ट्रांसफर शेयर स्ट्रेस ऑन द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन और इट कुड बी द हॉरिजेंटल कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री शेयर स्ट्रेस ऑन अ प्लेन पासिंग थ्रू दैट लेयर सो यूनिट ऑफ शेयर स्ट्रेस विल बी न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेयर इफ द यूनिट ऑफ विर्थ एंड अ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज एम एम एंड एम एम टू द पावर फोर रिस्पेक्टिवली थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग इन फाइव मिनट्स